Good day. I am Lieutenant Governor Tregenza Roach, and it is my distinct pleasure to extend greetings to you from the U.S. Virgin Islands. Our territory is comprised of three major islands, St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas, and numerous beautiful keys touched by both the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. We may be small in size, but we are filled with great pride as we are now poised to become a regional leader in geographic information systems. Through a number of ongoing projects, such as the Critical Infrastructure Data Sharing Program and the Street Addressing Initiative, the USVA is making significant strides in providing critical services to our people and territories. On behalf of the GIS Division of the Office of the Lieutenant Governor, I extend gratitude for this distinguished honor of receiving the 2021 URISA Exemplary Systems in Government Award in the Enterprise Systems category. The GIS Division of the Office of Lieutenant Governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands has grown significantly in a very short period of time, growth that was only advanced by utilizing our internal expertise as well as fostering great relationships with many external entities. Including of these entities are federal and local government partners, but we do foster many relationships with private companies throughout the region and from the mainland. From the outset, we did understand that setting a solid spatial foundation with accurate municipal and ecological data would allow us to resolutely build out a multitude of other GIS datasets that we currently administer through our enterprise level GIS platform. Of course, none of this would be possible without proper funding. Being a territory quite isolated from the mainland with limited resources, we put colossal effort into attaining federal grant funding. For such a small division, we are proud to say that we have accumulated over $7 million in federal grant funds specifically for GIS use in projects in the territory. The following are some examples of the work that we put in over the years. The GIS division and territorial GIS platform serves 15 out of 29 departments and over 200 users in the U.S. Virgin Islands government. Whether by specific projects, applications used, or continual GIS platform integration. Such departments include the Department of Education, the Department of Public Works, Department of Sports, Parks and Recreation, the Virgin Islands Police Department, Department of Tourism, Virgin Islands Territorial Emergency Management Agency, the Virgin Islands Waste Management Authority, the Virgin Islands National Guard, Department of Planning and Natural Resources, the Virgin Islands Fire Department, Department of Agriculture, Virgin Islands Energy Office, Virgin Islands Water and Power Authority, Virgin Islands Next Generation Network, and the Economic Development Authority. The GIS division and territorial GIS platform also serves the major telecommunications and internet providers via an at and Utility coordination on, on the um, utility side of the platform is becoming um, very critical and you know, we use it on a, on a regular basis to um, identify any conflicts that we have in, in areas and knowing you know, what, what are the existing utilities uh, within project areas. Uh, the, the government of the Virgin Islands has passed legislation to um, assist with utility coordination and implementing a one call program, which um, is a requirement and a mandate for um, all of the, the jurisdictions on the mainland. And this is something that we are highly encouraged to develop and the GIS platform is going to be critical in implementing implementing that, that program. And it'll it's be been a pleasure working with uh, Chris Georges with the Lieutenant Governor's Office in um, collaborating um, a cloud-based platform to share the data that, that, that we, we are collaboratively using. Um, and also in helping us um, take off the drone initiative in using drones to capture real aerial photography, high resolution, and using um, differential, GP differential GPS stations to make sure all of these uh, maps and measurements on the map are in solid grade quality. So that's a big awesome thing. The GIS division created an unmanned aerial systems program whereby we independently captured data including large-scale aerial surveys 
3D modeling, and LiDAR. Using complementary add-ons to our GIS platform, we seamlessly integrate our aerial data for utilization and distribution. We house the two emergency, three actually emergency operations centers here in the territory, and also two 911 call centers. We have been in, par in partnership with the Lieutenant Governor's Office for quite some time. We have just rolled out a recent um, new computer-aided dispatch system in which um, we have a heavy mapping GIS component. And these are maps were provided to us from the Lieutenant Governor's Office in which we're very appreciative. I would like to give kudos to Mr. Chris George and his staff um, for a job well done, and hopefully we'll continue the partnership here in the future. Thanks. The U.S. Virgin Islands did not have a nationally standardized street address system. To solve this major problem, the GIS Division established a territory-wide street addressing initiative, which is completing a comprehensive street addressing system and related GIS-based master address repository, according to national and local standards. It is currently in its final phase. It goes without saying, the importance of a reliable street address system in emergency services, utility management, and overall navigation.